Hey, beautiful people, photo chat here. So I am in downtown Sanford at the Sanford River Walk, and I want you to check this out because this is very unusual. So look at the water level. It's coming up and over the ledge. Have you never been here before? That water is normally about five, well, maybe six feet below the ledge. And this is all because of Hurricane Milton. Absolutely insane to see. And it's a reminder of just how powerful nature can be. So anyways, I'm in downtown Sanford, like a Q3 taking some pictures. And I figured now's a good time since it's been five days since I've had my face type procedure this past Monday to make a video about it. Now, if you never heard of it, face tight is a procedure that's used to get rid of extra skin around the face. And in my case, I had a double chin. Might be kind of hard to see now because it's been five days, but basically a cannula, I think that's what it's called, is inserted into the skin and it applies heat. I think it's RFAL, RFLA, something like that. And that heat shrinks the skin. And I think I've also had some liposuction too to get rid of the skin here. And beautiful people, let me tell you, on a scale of one to 10 for looks maxing procedures, I give it a solid eight. For me in particular, I've had a lot of extra skin there. And it's been about 20 years back in my high school years, but I used to weigh about 300 pounds. 300 pounds. Now I've lost the weight and one day I just woke up looking like a Chad, but <laughs> all I said, I've lost the weight and I've had a lot of extra skin. And one area that's always bugged me was underneath my chin, right? So I've had the face type procedure this past Monday. and My gosh, I just can't say enough good things about it. The procedure itself sucked. It was, first of all, let me backtrack a bit. So that past Monday, I've had a total of four procedures. That's right, I was there for about maybe four and a half hours just getting worked on by the doctor. Dr. Canal was going to town on me, baby. It was not fun. But I've had liposuction of my stomach, liposuction of the side flanks, and liposuction of the love handles a lot just all over my entire stomach and back a lot of fat was removed and i've also had a benelli lift i kid you not my second one in fact the first one um, didn't work as well as we wanted it to so the doc said hey i could do it one more time check this out by the way See if I could get the shot. It's absolutely gorgeous right now, beautiful people. It's about 78, maybe 77, and it's windy. Gorgeous evening. So, a Benelli left. I'm planning on one of these days, so I'm making a video about it, my experience with it. Again, my second one, I kid you not. Um, Basically, when I was 19, I played around with pro-hormones. I wanted to get really strong, and pro-hormones um, on a strength scale come just before steroids. Now, I'm not a chemist or anything like that. I won't be able to tell you their chemical or biological makeup, but pro-hormones basically increase your testosterone, make you stronger, all right? They're not as strong as steroids, but they'll get the job done. And that was, what, 2009? At the time, I got my hands on Rage Supplements. I believe that's what they were called. I didn't know anything, right? Um, took the supplements, got really strong, got a lot of testosterone. But fortunately for me, I also didn't know anything about cycling. And uh, with pro-hormone steroids, you're supposed to cycle them. Meaning, hey, when you're done taking them, you need to take what, Clomid, Navadex, right, to prevent the testosterone 
from aromatizing it to estrogen. I didn't know anything like that. So I took a bunch of pro-hormones and all the testosterone aromatized, meaning it converted to estrogen, and it basically gave me bitch tits. Yeah, it was terrible. Man boobies. Man boobies, something fierce. And as a result of that, my areolas too, they got really deformed. Now, again, I'll make another video about this, but that's the reason for the Benelli lift, as you fix the areola. Back in 2016, I've also had gynecomastia, which fixed the man boobies. But, um, yeah, so the Benelli lift, the second one this past Monday, and the face type. So it was a very long day, and, well, I was awake from the tired thing. Not pleasant at all. It sucked. It was miserable. Four hours, four and a half of the doctors just going to town on my body. Um, the procedure itself, I'm going to talk about all four of them just because after the liposuctions, I've had the Benelli lift and the face type. Before I talk about the procedures, check this out. It's getting kind of dark. I know it may be kind of hard to see, but right now, I have an F16, it's still bright enough. The ISO is at 640, 800, give or take, right? Uh, but I'm also using a Lack of Looks preset, the Eternal one. So I'm gonna put it right now. Whoa, that water's coming out, see? So let me put it to contemporary. I like the look of that. And let's see if I could get this shot. Not bad, but yeah, crazy how powerful the hurricane was. Again, the water's maybe six, seven feet above where it should be. All right, so procedure day this past Monday. Four and a half hours, awake the entire thing. Normally, it wouldn't be local. It'd be under general anesthesia. But the doc said, hey, you know what? Yeah, I could just give you a shit ton of lidocaine and start some fluids in you that act as a numbing agent and we could go from there. Saved me a decent chunk of change and I figured, you know what? Why not? This would be good for me to experience what liposuction is like awake since I've had it in the past and for me to be able to talk about it. Similar to face tight, with liposuction, I think again, it's a cannula. It's this very slender tube looking instrument that they insert into your skin and it sucks out the fat. The doctor is basically using my stomach as a violin, and he's doing this for the cannula, right? Not pleasant at all. It was painful, even though I had a ton of lidocaine um, and that liquid to numb me. It sucked. See, the street's flooded. The water came up here, and it's been about, gosh, eight days, so a little over a week since the hurricane hit. Imagine the day of, the next day. Must have been flooded, these streets. There's a, one of my girlfriends over there, it's kind of hard to see, but she has the pug. So, yeah, the liposuction itself maybe took an hour and a half, two hours, just because he did my entire stomach, the side and the back. But that tube is what I want to talk about. You see, the tube for the face, for the face type procedure, first the face is numb and then the tube goes in. It goes, it inserts into your skin, right, like so. It's kind of hard since I have a Leica. Um, see if there's anything I could grab from the ground here. Oh. So check this out, right? So let's pretend this is the tube and it's going like this. And he's doing it not aggressively, but he's also not gentle with the dialer. He's going like this into the chin, applying heat to shrink it. And now it doesn't have to be just the chin. It could be other saggy areas of the face, but he's doing that. And he did it for maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Um, again, the procedure itself, it was painful. 
even with everything I was given at that point in time. And that was like four hours in, beautiful people. I was just beat. I was beat, man. Um, but yeah, it's my understanding is for that procedure, it's done locally anyways. I don't think you're giving anesthesia just because it's not long. And I had a decent amount of skin. But with that being said, um, even if you had more, I don't think you'd be put under anesthesia for something like that. But yeah, the face type procedure, man, for me, five days out, I already feel good about it. I do. Um, recovery, it's swollen here and it's, it is kind of numb. It is kind of numb, this section here. Not painful. The next day was kind of painful, I'm gonna be honest, but my entire body was a pain. The doc did fix me up with some hydrocodone, so that was nice of them. But yeah, by the third day, uh, it's just a matter of me dealing with the swelling, making sure I'm not chewing on anything hard or stuff like that. And the first two days I need to wear, it's like this white band-aid looking wrap that goes over the head. I got some video of me on the second day, I believe, wearing it. And it's meant to compress this. So it kind of squishes the face together, which fine. It's not the most comfortable thing, but you can adjust it, the tightness. So that itself wasn't too bad. And this section here is the Veterans Memorial Park. Look at the water. You can't even get to it. Incredible, incredible. Let me walk over here to the edge because, again, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could get to that edge. I get wet in the process, but the water is normally like six, seven feet lower than where it's at. It's much more visible over here. If it's windy enough, it's actually coming on to this park section right here. It's a chat over there fishing. But yeah, I've never seen it like this. Still pretty sight, and since I'm looking at it, and since there's still enough sun, let me see if I could get a decent picture here. It's level. I'm not a fan of that shot, nothing fancy about it. F-16. ISO is 800, so I can work with that. I am, however, and I got to be careful because I'm using one hand here. I am going to, let me cheat a bit here, beautiful people. Yeah. I will put it on black and white high contrast. There we go. This is going to be a pretty neat shot. And while I'm at it, there is the American flag in all her glory. Beautiful. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, but at this point anyways, I think I said everything I wanted to say about the face type procedure. I personally recommend it. If you lost a lot of weight, if you have saggy skin around the face, if you have a double chin like I had, on a scale of one to 10 with looks maxing procedures, I give it a solid eight, maybe even a nine because the benefit for me was immediate. I saw the impact real fast. Recovery. I recover pretty fast, so I'm happy about that. And from a price perspective, it's solid. Um, I think I got it for maybe 4,000 bucks. And that's after haggling the dock a bit, getting all this massive discount package since I've had all the procedures done in one day. Uh, but the procedure itself sucks, right? There's a cannula. I was awake when I did it. He's going to town. Like, it's not pleasant. but. That's my experience with it, beautiful people, five days out. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful and I'm gonna get back to taking some pictures, but beautiful people, I'll catch you all around, ciao.